In this video of Oracle SQL, we will start with the merge statement. Basically, merge statement is used to do the conditional insert or update in a particular table. In this particular example, I am going to use two tables having the similar structure. So let's find out practically the implementation of merge statement. So for implementing the merge statement, here I'll go for a couple of tables. Basically, I will create a backup or a copy of this employees table. So for doing that, I have created another table here named copy EMP. Basically, the structure is similar, but I have not taken all the fields because for the demo purpose, we are good enough to continue with these number of fields as well. Now, what I will do is, first of all, I will make a comparison between the employee ID of copy EMP table and employee ID of employees table. If the employee ID of copy EMP table is matched with this table, then I will update all the fields that is first name, last name, mobile number and department ID from this one. Maybe there is a scenario like the employee got updated, maybe the last name or the mobile number or the uh, department ID got changed. So in order to just make us think, I will do a conditional updation in the copy EMP table. But if the employee ID in copy EMP is not matched with that of the employees table, then I will insert that record using employees table. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, let's uh, clear the screen. Uh, I'll start writing it from the top. All right. So first of all, we'll start with the merge keyword. All right. So merge into then in which particular table you want to merge means make the, uh, which table you want to make a copy. So that is copy underscore EMP. All right. If required, you can make the alias of this particular table and using which table you are making this merge statement. First table is the copy EMP in which you want to copy the data, but from which table that you will specify here that is using employees. All right, using employees E. Now, E is again the alias and you will have to specify like using which field you are going to merge. As I said, like primary key should be there. So on E dot employee ID, EMP ID is equal to C dot EMP ID means the uh, field names are same. That's why I'm putting it like that. All right. So here I specified like which is my main table from which table I'm going to take the data and which which is the common field. Now after that, if the primary key fields got matched, so when matched, then all right, then what all you want to do, you want to update. So simply write update set and what all fields are available like C dot first name is equal to E dot first name because uh, ultimately I am putting the data in the copy table that is C the Ilias is C for that all right so first name make sure you are putting the same name every time separate with comma then C dot last name is equal to E dot last name similarly for the remaining fields so apart from that I have taken mobile number is equal to E dot mobile number and last is department ID all right so C dot DEPT ID is equal to E dot DEPT ID all right so you'll have to write till this point now when matched then I wanted to update when not matched when not matched means the employee ID doesn't exist in the copy table then I have to insert a new record all right so when not matched then you will have to pass the insert statement for that all right so insert into table name that's the proper syntax but here do you don't have to say into table name because it's already being mentioned using the merge statement so you can directly start with the values all right, and here I'll start writing the values from the employee ID. So e dot 
EMP ID is the first column, second column is the first name, then last name. I am talking about the structure of copy EMP table. Then mobile number and finally the department ID. Alright, so I think it's good enough. Let's see how the output is looking like. Four rows merged. Because if I'll see my employees table, there are four records here. One, two, three, four. Alright, means one, zero, one, one, zero, two. All these four records are there. Similarly, if I'll see my uh, copy EMP table, now there are also these four records. Alright, now let's do one thing. Let's make a change in the table. For example, I will add, I will update the department ID of 101. Since we have already done with this, uh, with this particular command, uh, let's see. Update, update employees, set DPT ID is equal to 30 where EMP ID is equal to 10. Sorry, EMP ID is equal to 101. All right. So this one is updated. Now, uh, let's run the merge statement again. All right. You can make it uh, as a procedure also, but we'll discuss about all those things later. So I'm simply uh, writing or I'm reusing the command uh, thing again. So you see, four rows got merged again, but now when I will query from this uh, copy MP table, you will find all the changes have been reversed. Means a new record is not here, but since 101 would be matched with the employees 101 record, so it got updated. So this is how your merge statement works. When the matching record will be found, it will be updating it. If the matching records are not there, then a new record means that missing record will be inserted.